just live from the bowling alley with what's for dinner. Hey, Annette, how you doing? Hey, good. Good morning, good day, viewers, and happy Thanksgiving. It's good to see you. Yes. I've spent a lot of time there. I love bowling there. It's one of my favorite spots. So uh, how many people do you think you're going to get to feed today? We're expecting about 1,500 people. Wow. And I hope there's more. We have plenty of food here today. Wow, well, I can see all the trays. Let's talk about uh, what you're serving up here and how long you guys have been putting this all together this morning. So we've been working on this for only a week now. Wow. Um, we've got a traditional Thanksgiving dinner mm -hmm. prepared. We're offering them unlimited bowling and unlimited arcade play for oh, the family. Oh, that's awesome. That is fantastic. Why did you guys decide that you guys wanted to do this today? Well, we're typically closed on Thanksgiving Day, and the owner, Carrie Pegram, and our employees got together and decided to open the doors and give something back to the community, especially to those affected by the wildfires in the campfire. And you, you, the building is huge. Mm -hmm. I mean, you got plenty of room for people. I think it's cool, too. I have yeah. some free oh, bowling yes. and, some, and some video games for the kids get their yes. minds of all, off all the stuff. That's Absolutely. so neat. Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, as we've been coming. Well, that's, that's the goal. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just to give them a happy day. Just to give them some fun. Like, let their minds relax a little bit and have some fun. Mm -hmm. Those pies are ginormous. So. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I know. So... I have to tell you that they, we have had so many donations, so many community members have come together and given to this event. Um, all the desserts are donated. Wow. And there's a room full of desserts that, that you haven't seen, but um, there's so many. It's been, it's been such a blessing. That is fantastic. We've had donations from, yeah, we've had Cisco step in, the city of Rockland, U.S. Foods. Um, we have a volunteer organization called Spark that's from Placer County. Um, they've been a huge, huge help with this event. It takes a village. And then our employees. Fantastic. It does take a village. Yeah. All right, Annette, thank you so much for your time. Thanks for doing this, you know, as we've been covering this mm -hmm. the last couple of